Hi, so in this uh, recording, I'll be solving the following exercise. It's a similar one to the previous one, so mm, but with a different uh, taste. So let's uh, consider here a queue. Uh, it contains tasks, and each task is uh, identified by an ID, and it has a priority, priority between 0 and n minus 1, where n is a constant. And we want to transform this queue so that the task of priority 0 are in the front followed by the priority 1 and finally n minus 1 so we need to order it by priority in ascending order so uh, tasks of same priority must be stored so it's very important in the reverse order of their arrival so if you have for example here uh, 3 so we have 2 the id 2 4 6 uh, we should uh, no, no it's 2 4 5 so we should have 4, 5, 2, so in reverse order. So whenever we say in reverse, so we should think about stacks. So they are asking, give the corresponding declaration. So what's a Q? What's a stack? What's a, what's an element? And then give the uh, function so that we can arrange that and the complexity. So let's move. So I have here the implementation of a regular stack and Q. This is the old one. So the element here is about an ID. And again, it's uh, an int priority. So the element here, it's a stack, it's called priority. And the elements in the stack and queues are uh, of type element. So we need to create a queue in the main function. So queue, queue, queue equal create a queue. And we need to enqueue, capital Q, we need to enqueue, enqueue some elements. So if you uh, followed me in the previous uh, uh, exercise, you need uh, you know that we need to cast the element here, the element, because if we don't cast it, the compiler won't know that the it's about an element. He will know he will check that there are two integers, and he will not know that he should put that into an element structure. So we need to enqueue. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, and 1, and then 4, 3, 5, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 5, 7, 2, Six, five, seven, two, and at the end we will have eight, one. Eight, one. So I, I removed the old uh, print queue. So let's say print queue special again. So we have here two percentage D. Let's say comma percentage for D. The first one is E dot ID, and the second one E dot priority. So let's call uh, print the queue special here and see if everything is correct for now. And let's run. So obviously it's correct. Let me remove this four because it's too much. And let's keep for the backslash uh, T. So this is it. Now we need to sort. So since we need to modify the queue, we'll pass the address. And then again, we will print the special queue. So uh, what about sorting? So void sort queue pointer to a queue. So again, we need to uh, uh, order this by priority. And for each priority, we need to reverse, uh, to reverse the order of arrival. So for that, and they are telling us that there are uh, uh, n priorities and these n priorities uh, they are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 so in other words we need to use a stack for each priority so we need to have n stack so let's go up and see so the stack we, it's not about n so the stack here it contains uh, where is the stack it contains n elements so each stack it, it can contains up to 20 elements However, uh, they are telling us that we need a, a number of uh, a stacks. So let's say define a T here and say 100 to say that we can have, for example, between 0 and 99 priorities. So for that here, we need to 
uh, use stack uh, as an array of t stacks. So t is the priorities. I cannot use n because n I already used it in in for the number of elements in each stack. So t is the corresponding one to n here. So we have t priorities numbered from 0 to t minus 1. So for each of these stacks, so I need a counter since I need to loop and initialize empty stacks. So for i equal to 0, i less than t, i plus plus, and then I should say s of i equal create a queue, create a stack, sorry. Because I'm creating empty stack. So of course here I need an element because I need to, ink it to uh, they, okay, get the front element and then uh, push it. So I will loop over uh, the queue. So as long as we have a front element, so look, at, it's very tricky here to deal with uh, two uh, types of uh, uh, ADTs at the same time. So as long as we have a front, I will dequeue it, dequeue. Uh, Q because Q is already a pointer and then I will push the element E into one of these stacks So where I should push this element? It's on the stack having the priority So as of which stack and we, we need to use address because push takes an address So as of the priority of the element, so it's equal E dot priority because E is just an element There's no pointer. There's no arrows. So here we empty the Q in the different stacks here we need to loop over each of the stacks from priority 0 to priority t minus 1 and uh, enqueue the elements of each stack in the original queue. So we'll have uh, for loop for i equals 0, i less than t, i plus plus, and then uh, we will have uh, to loop over the each stack. So as long as in each stack, so s of i, there is uh, an element, so address of E, I'll get the element, I will pop, of course, directly, in order not to forget, address of S of I, and I will enqueue D in the original Q, which is, it should be an address of Q, Q, it's already an address, so it's okay, so that is, this is it, so I will loop uh, over each of the uh, stacks, uh, so for the first stack of priority 0, I will loop over it. If there is elements in there, I will enqueue it in queue, and then I move to the second stack, third stack, and so on, till we end here, and at the end, the queue, queue here would, uh, uh, would be full, and let's run and see the output. So front queue, we have an error, uh, it's 8 here, it's address. No, it's the, it's, it's the star, because it's the reference. So, we have first the priority one, so let's check the output. 8, 1, 3, 1, 7, 2, 5, 5, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, right, 6, 5, 1, 5. So this is correct. So let me repeat. So in the solution, to solve the queue, we have used a, a number of stacks equal to the number of priorities. So we have here <coughs> zero T priorities, so we have queues corresponding to priority 0 till priority t minus 1 so we have made a loop and we have initialized empty stack then we have looped over the queue and we have pushed each element of the queue in the corresponding stack then we have looped over all the stacks and pushed the elements by order in the queue so this is it for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to write to me and i will answer you back and again thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications and thanks again for watching